Even though Racing Point had been penalised with a docking of points and a fine, some other teams continued protesting against that outcome. Recently, McLaren had withdrawn their protest, and now Renault have done the same. The team has now revealed why. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, why Renault withdrew the protest against Racing Point. Renault confirmed their decision in an official statement. Renault confirms that it has requested to withdraw the appeals lodged against the stewards' decisions in relation to BWT Racing Point F1 team's brake ducks. They then elaborated on why they had protested in the first place. Beyond the decisions, the matters at issue were vital to the integrity of Formula 1, both during the current season and in the future. Renault then explained the clarity in the regulations that were reached in the past few days. However, intensive and constructive work between the FIA, Renault, and all the Formula 1 stakeholders has led to concrete progress in safeguarding the originality in the sport by way of amendments to the sporting and technical regulations planned for the 2021 racing season, confirming the requirements to qualify as a constructor. The statement came to a close by elaborating on why they withdrew their protest. Reaching this strategic objective in the context of the new Concord Agreement was our priority. The controversy of the start of the season should be put behind us as we need to focus on the remainder of an intense and unique championship. Fast feed! Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko has revealed that they can cancel the new Concord Agreement every year and that it's not a permanent contract like it used to be. He also indicated that what they get less at Red Bull, they get more at Alpha Tauri, for example. That's a de facto balance. He also explained that some things can only be decided by an overwhelming majority and no longer by a unanimous vote, unlike the reversal of the starting grid in Austria, which was prevented by Mercedes. Alexei Titov, promoter of the Russian Grand Prix, thinks that organising the Russian Grand Prix in the evening is an interesting idea as the Olympic Park is beautiful when it is lit up in the night time. FIA race director Michael Massey has confirmed that on the third occasion of a driver cutting behind the curb at Turn 4, Turn 9 exit and Turn 19 exit during the race he will be shown a black and white flag, any further cutting will then be reported to the stewards. He further elaborated that this means that a total of three occasions combined, not three at each corner. Formula 2 has confirmed that Antoine Hubert's driver number 19 will never be used again in honour of the late driver. Former F1 driver Mark Blundell would like to see Red Bull's Max Verstappen next to Lewis Hamilton, but that will probably never happen. He further elaborated that Max is a pure racer who does things that others have never done and probably never will, but he doesn't see him as mature enough to lead a team like Senna. And Mercedes head of engine department Andy Cow thinks that Lewis is competitive, but will never push it so far that it becomes a foul play, as some people do. Would you like to see the Russian Grand Prix be held at night? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.